My father being a, a firefighter uh, and out helping the community uh, inspired me to go into a field that uh, was similar um, and I had a strong uh, liking for science and anatomy and also for people. So that, that uh, combination led me into going into medical school which then ultimately progressed into uh, orthopedics and then ultimately hand upper extremity surgery. Uh, different types of procedures that uh, we certainly do as hand and upper extremity surgeons, uh, again, deal with anything that's uh, either traumatically uh, involved, such as fractures of the hand, the wrist or the arm, uh, certainly conditions that are chronic, such as arthritic type conditions of the hand, wrist and uh, elbow and shoulder as well. Um, we also deal with uh, nerve compression syndromes in the arm and hand and wrist. And with all those conditions, we uh, would start off with certainly with conservative management, um, trying to treat those as, uh, as best as possible. If people fail conservative management, then only then do you move on to potentially surgical options for the patient. Very important uh, in my practice to make that patient feel comfortable with their, not only uh, their diagnosis, but their interactions with me as their treating physician. I realize that patients are taking time off of work, uh, coming in and to see me as their uh, treating physician, and they uh, are wanting to see someone that actually cares about uh, them as a person, is gonna spend quality time with them, uh, educating them on what, can, what the condition actually uh, the diagnosis is and what the treatment regimen will be. So I take that very personal and, and take extra time to make sure the patients are comfortable with the plan before they would leave. Every surgeon here has a subspecialty training in a particular area that we focus in. So if a patient comes to myself or, uh, or to one of my partners and we have another physician in the office that is more specialized in that particular area, uh, that patient would then be referred within the practice uh, to the more appropriate physician. I think that's a very or strength of our practice. Um, we, uh, we take a pride in ensuring good outcomes for patients. We also take pride in uh, the fact that the patients uh, are most appropriately directed to the, the best surgeon or best physician for that particular condition. I make myself very accessible to my patients. Um, my patients, as they leave, I often give them my card with a direct line to our practice that bypasses our phone system. So if a patient has a question, problem, or issue, they can call uh, the practice, get in touch with my assistant who, uh, you know, will will give me the information on what the patient's questions may be. If they cannot answer, then I certainly also will call that patient. If the patient wants to speak with me personally about the, the, uh, any con uh, questions they may have concerning their condition or treatment, uh, I am more than happy to call them personally back and discuss that with them. In terms of um, patients being comfortable uh, with um, coming to see uh, me for their hand or wrist or upper extremity condition, I think that probably the most valuable insight is uh, is my patient referral base. Uh, most of the patients that are coming to see me are, are oftentimes referred by other patients I've previously treated um, or family members of the patients I've treated. In addition, uh, referring physicians in the community uh, oftentimes will refer uh, the patients over and over again back to me uh, for conditions because they get a lot of good feedback from those patients concerning their treatment and care rendered here at Town Center Orthopedics. We have uh, three uh, hand therapists that are here on site at Town Center Orthopedics. Uh, two of them currently working in re the Reston uh, location and one in Centerville. They work very closely with me uh, in, to ensure uh, good outcomes. And this is an, uh, for patients that uh, are non-surgical as well as patients that have had surgery. Uh, we collaborate daily uh, concerning uh, patients' uh, progress and they will oftentimes give me feedback or, or modify treatment uh, as necessary. And that uh, direct access to me and direct access to them is, I think, invaluable in terms of uh, ensuring great outcomes for the patients. Most patients that come in here with uh, orthopedic hand and wrist problems um, or tr and upper extremity issues uh, are treated uh, in a conservative fashion and most, I'd say over 90%, get better. It's only the patients that have failed conservative measures and that actually opt to, uh, for surgery that end up requiring uh, surgical intervention. Uh, in those patients that do require surgical intervention, we uh, do everything possible to do the least invasive procedure that we can uh, to minimize uh, any type of scarring and, uh, and optimize outcome. Um, patients oftentimes ask about the, what will the incision look like, and I, uh, it's very important to me what that incision looks like, and I oftentimes, will, I will, on, all the time, will close that incision as cosmetically as possible uh, to, to uh, obviously have a good look on the outside as well as a good functional outcome. So that's important to me as well.